Hello all. In this video, we are going to solve coding question asked by Infosys for the role of digital specialist engineer and specialist programmer. The package offered for DAC role is 6.25 LPA and uh, special and for SP role uh, it's 9.5 LPA. So before looking into the problem statement, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for earlier notification. So let's look into the problem statement. Yeah. Happy hour is the problem statement tag. And problem statements looks like this. Hadi gets $10 of money as a salary. Hadi decides to distribute this money to as many people as he can. He will distribute the money. He has such that no two people get the same amount of dollars. Find the maximum number of people Hadi can give money to. So N dollars is the salary of Hadi and he, need, he wants to distribute this amount of this salary to as many people as he can. So there is a condition that no two people have gets the same amount of money. Suppose if uh, one person gets $1 of money, second person gets uh, $2 of money and third person should get $3 of money because no two persons should get uh, the same amount of money. This is the condition they have given. So we need to find the number of people Hadi can give money. So we need to count the number of people Hadi can donate different amount of money. Okay. So let's look into the sample test cases. So five is the input and two is the output. Hadi can give first $1 to first person and second $2 to the second person. He has left with $2, but he cannot give them to anyone without breaking the rule. Because the rule is no two people can get the same amount of dollars because already the second person has get $2, uh, the third person should not get the same amount of money. That's the $2 remaining is only $2. So he can donate maximum up to two people. He can donate his salary. First $1 to the first person and second $2 to the second person. Yes, left with a $2. So let's look into another, another test cases. $1 is he gets $1 as his salary. He can donate to one people, full salary to one people. That's uh, one is the output. He can give all his money to one person. If he gets $3 as his salary, he can donate first $1 to the one person. So person count is one and second $2 to the second person. So the person count is two. So he can donate to two people. Hope you understood the problem statement and the sample test cases. So let's look into the coding window. This is the Python 3 coding window. And we need uh, in this coding platform, we need to return the output that uh, they'll pass the parameter n, that's the input. They'll take the input from the system and they'll pass the parameter to the function solve. We need to apply our logic and return the final value. So let's solve this using uh, Python. Before solving it on Jupyter Notebook, let's uh, plan how this can be solved. So we need to have two variables that number of people, that's our final answer and donated amount, big amount means donated amount. If donated amount is greater than the salary, we, we can't able to donate uh, more number of money to having less uh, salary. Hope you understood this. So uh, if Hari gets $5 as his salary, $5 as his salary, first he can donate $1 to one person, then $2 to the second person. So count is one, two, he can get, uh, then he need to donate $3, $3. So the total money will be one plus two, three, uh, three plus three, six. So the total salary is only $5. But if he donates to the third person, it will become six dollars. He doesn't have that much that, that much of money. So, yeah. Then for the second test case, one dollar he can donate entire one dollar to the one person. Then for third, uh, if he gets three dollars as his salary, he can donate one dollar to one person. Then, uh, sorry. $1 to one person and $2 to another person. So total will be three. So total salary is three. This is satisfied. And in this condition, uh, total will be three. And if he wants to run it to third person, he need to earn one more extra dollar. That's if he earns $6, he can donate 
uh, up to maximum up to three people. So for that, uh, we are using one for loop for high in range of one to so starting salary from one to uh, n is the input they are given one to n plus one. Okay, with that space for i in range of one to one to n plus one. N is the total salary up to the salary plus one. He donates one dollar to the first person. That's the donated amount. Donated amount plus is equal to i. I means I keeps on varying for first iteration. I will be I value will be one, then second iteration I value will be two. Uh, and it's keep on going like that one, two, three, four, five. All are distinct, uh, all are different amounts. So we'll uh, calculate the donated amount. If donated amount, if any case, uh, donated amount is greater than. Or the salary that scan will break the for loop here. Or else we need to proceed with the for loop iteration. And we need to, if the for loop for runs for the single time, uh, that means he has donated some amount of money to the person. So number of people get incremented by one. Number of people plus is equal to one. So I'll trace this program once again. Uh, for i in a range of 1 to n plus 1 means i starts from 1 to n plus 1. n is the total salary plus 1. If he gets the total salary as $5, uh, $5 plus 1, $6. The for, in, the for loop in Python works like that, works in such a way that it will include the starting point and excludes the ending point. It means that it will run up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will exclude the 6. Okay, hope you understood this. Donated amount means, sorry, this is small i. Uh, donated amount means i keeps on uh, incrementing one by one. For first, it will be one. For second, two, three, four, five. Donated amount, we need the uh, condition that each person gets different amount of money. If donated amount is greater than uh, n salary, the n means salary, we'll break the for loop execution and we'll return the number of people. That means the number of people initially will be zero, is equal to zero, then donated amount initially zero, initially zero. If donated amount, if $1 is uh, greater than yen, that means if uh, Hadi gets zero dollars, will break this for loop and return uh, NOP. That means N NOP value will number of people value is zero. He, he can donate, uh, he cannot donate zero dollars to any of the people. So number of people will be zero. Hope you understood the logic. So let's solve, let's apply this logic uh, in uh, Jupyter Notebook and try for our test cases. So number of people is equal to zero initially will be zero donated amount is equal to zero. So for i in range of one to n plus one, for i in range of one to n plus one, uh, donated amount plus is equal to i. Uh, if donated amount is greater than the salary, We'll break the execution of for loop or we'll continue with the execution of for loop. That means number of people gets incremented by one. And finally, after this execution of this for loop, we'll return an OP. Okay, let's run this. If five is the input, we should get two as the output. Yeah. If one is the input, we'll get one as output because you can donate one dollar to one person. And if three is the input, you can donate up maximum up to two people. 
that means one dollar to one person and two dollars to another person hope you understand understood this uh, problem if you have any doubts or any queries do comment it down thank you